21, I worked as a secretary in a television production company in Sydney, Australia. And I was real excited, you see, because this was my first step towards working in the entertainment industry. I had big dreams. I wanted to work on a stage. I was going to date George Clooney. <laughs> I wanted to travel the world. And I wanted to have people like James Bond on speed dial. So I was real excited about this job. But guess what? After just six months of being employed, I got laid off. It was the worst day of my life. And it was exactly the same situation as here in America today. Australia was going through a recession. And so I got laid off. And I was just devastated. But here's the deal. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It was really like so often as it is in changing times, it was an opportunity knocking. And so what does it take to be excellent in today's competitive workforce? Let me suggest that it starts first and foremost with attitude. Check your attitude. Do people like you? Or are you a sourpuss? <laughs> Ask yourself if you're a sourpuss. Because, you know, chances are if you had kibbles and bits for lunch, <laughs> there could be a problem. <laughs> so ask yourself, are you willing to do whatever it takes? Attitude, it all starts here. And by the way, be likable, stay humble, because nobody likes arrogance. What happens on Dancing with the Stars? Before they get to perform live, the, the celebrity stands there with the dance trainer and, and the celebrity's attitude is this, I'm here, I'm ready, willing and able to learn something new, teach me. And then they practice, practice, practice. And I learned early on that, you know what, if you do something often enough, you get really good at it. in Houston, Texas in 1982, and I hadn't been there five minutes, and someone came up to me and said, y'all come back now here? <laughs> I just looked at them with this dumb expression on my face. You see, I'd never heard the word y'all before in my life. And then later on, I learned that the plural of y'all was all y'all. And you think I talk funny. Hello. <laughs> you know, I've learned a few things about living in Texas. You get to know the four seasons all over again. There's almost summer, summer, still summer, Christmas, 